Hey guys, how's it going? What is going on? We thought we would just give you guys an update with all the projects yeah. we have going. I know we have a ton of videos out there on things we are doing for the Winchester Mansion right now. We thought we would just kind of pop on here really quick yeah. and give you guys an idea of everything we have going on if you're interested. Yes, <laughs> yes. It, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's a mess back here. <laughs> <laughs> so excuse the mess. Harrison has been, you know, messing everything up. We we have nothing to do with it. Oh, yeah. You see my paint table right there? <laughs> this is our home slash scenic shop. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. We uh, we barbecue amongst the work that we're doing. So. Chris will be fiberglassing. I'll be barbecuing. <laughs> you know what? We... We constantly have airplanes and, you know, the morning actually is the quietest time in our neighborhood. And then like landscapers and people start coming out and remodeling their houses and all that kind of stuff. So, oh yeah, we, it is Wednesday. We better hurry. Yeah, we better hurry. <laughs> so let's show you guys around. To give you guys an update, we do have a video out on some of the construction of how we did the mausoleum already. And Christopher teases me because of my paint process, because there's so much going on. And then as soon as Harrison gets home from school, like I can't concentrate as much. So this half of the mausoleum has already been aged a lot heavier. And then this one just has like a wash and a white dry brushing on it. So let me show you this side. Well, and I told her too, I was like, I don't, I can't work that way because I have to like do one step over the whole thing. I'm gonna attack. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. get, I mean, I would get lost. I would, I basically, I would lose like what step I'm on and yeah, stuff. So no, thankfully I do know what I've done. So I hooked up the airbrush and Chris was like, yeah, just get in the cracks and stuff like that. It worked so good for about what, five minutes. And then yeah. it got clogged. And then I was like, Ugh, I can't do this. So I came over here. This has the base coat. Then it has a wash of black. Then it has a white dry brushing on it. And then it came in, as you can tell, with some heavy shadowing of watered down black, some, you know, watered down spray bottle black. And I just started coming here. And man, I tell you, the day, it was perfect. All of my runs, because if you guys have followed along for a long time, you guys know how particular I am about runs. I don't like it to look like you just took a spray bottle and hit it and walked away. That really bugs me. Um, so I will, I'm very particular about how many runs are in the thing. And if there's a big black dot at the end, I don't know. It's a weird <laughs> OCD thing. I don't have it anywhere else except when it comes to runs. So I think it's turning out really good. I still have to do a green wash, a brown wash, and then go in like I was doing right here with the edges. And Chris said that you can see some of my paint lines in there. That'll all get covered. It's really difficult to dry brush when you have a block, whereas if you have an open thing, you can lightly go with the paintbrush and the lines don't form as strong. It's yeah. gonna get covered. I know, that. that's and why- you can always come back, and if it really bugs you, if you guys are doing dry brushing between um, two sections like this, you can always come back with your base color and lightly go with an even smaller paintbrush to kinda you know, knock some of those lines and stuff, but you really won't see it. So this is a lot of work and I've been doing it in stages and stuff. So I'm hoping to get one side done and then I'm gonna tackle the other side. As far as that dry brushing stuff goes, that's why we do keep pulling out the airbrush because we have three of them. We just can't ever figure out the mixtures. Or they, I just bought they just a get, new good one too. Yeah, so. they get jammed up on us and stuff. It's probably because we're using latex paint yeah. and then sometimes we don't get our air pressures right and stuff. But basically we just spend more time cleaning it out than we do using it. So. The same thing goes for spray bottles. So. But when, but when she nice. does get it working, you know, she, she does a good job in there so we just uh just gotta be patient sometimes like when we're painting the pumpkins all of a sudden it'll work for us we oh, can yeah. paint like three and or four pumpkins nice spray and you're like, yeah yes, don't run out of paint <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so it, it. maybe it depends on the pigment and the color of the paint too yeah, so our works. black is probably really thick so oh, yeah we finally got all the fiberglassing on the two monuments totally finished i did a light sand on it and everything's hard coated so now it's time for gina to prime it and then we'll shoot it with the uh texture the spray texture that we're doing uh the top comes off so that uh, it, it will fit in our truck for delivery and it won't be so tall and then that way maybe for storage and that kind of thing kind of helps protect that i've got the 
top on this. All, uh, it looks like Gina already has primed one side and then she's got the, <laughs> this going on. Yeah, this was me trying to get work done while Harrison was here and then I just had to walk away. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I, I look over and the rollers are just drying out and the, and the paintbrush is just drying out. Well, someone was hungry, someone needed some water, <laughs> someone needed a channel changed. <laughs> This is our above tomb crypt. Ooh. I spent all day yesterday aging it. Again, it has a base coat and then it's got some dry brushing, but this has the black, green, the brown mixed in it. And I like to walk away from it. I'll walk away from it for a day or two. And then I can already tell you that I would like to put a couple of more black, real strong drips in there. I'm not gonna water down the black as much because I really want that to stay. The watered down has kind of blended, which looks really nice for a base, but I'm gonna come back in there and do a little bit of that. But I've gotten in all of the edges and cracks and even on the lips and stuff like that. So I think this one is almost good. I have been working on the lid as well. And as you can see, you know, I started doing this. I had to stop yesterday on that. So I've got a couple more things I wanna do to this as well. And then I'll probably put the lid back on there and maybe do some consecutive yeah stuff. no i love how all your wash went into these little pits that looks yeah it looks pretty pretty good yeah and right the there. green is a mixture of three green colors so i'm crazy i'm kind of like a mad scientist yeah i'm creating colors and stuff but i think that's a nice base it looks like the moss might just be starting to form on it i had planned on coming back and adding like some cement in there to kind of make it look more busted instead of being rounded off with the fiberglass but that's getting crazy <laughs> and uh, uh the other thing too is if we do have time we're going to um try to spray this with some moss, moss yeah, yeah a so that bit. And just yeah not heavy just in a couple of spots so yeah but if not you know there's some green on there which is you know gives it some break up from the stone and the black and then of course you can tell the brown is all blended in there too just kind of break up that black a little bit but yeah it looks great on to the next thing this is another thing you guys can look forward <laughs> to another video in the future so make sure you're subscribed ring a ding that bell <laughs> we showed you guys this a little ringmaster stand in the last video <laughs> and uh to go with it uh, if you haven't seen that video you definitely have to check it out harrison is so cute <laughs> we have this strongman bar going on we just put two coats of fiberglass on there we're waiting for that to cure and then we're going to stick some gel coat on there and paint them up that's right i would lift it but it's all sticky yucky. <laughs> my garden looks so bad <laughs> like oh my gosh over. I ha we're not allowed to water anymore and I'm just watching my garden die so I'm sorry about that in the background that looks like but even if we did water I don't have time to weed it so it's okay. uh, there's not many well I guess there's a couple weeds there's a but couple weeds. that's actually my garden all that yellow and brown is my garden oh yeah uh, maybe it'll maybe it'll rain next year <laughs> a few of you have always asked us in the past if we ever mess up or make mistakes or how can we don't show them and a lot of times, I would say most of our mistakes are, are us just changing our minds and then, you know, throwing the project that we started to the side and never finishing it. But every once in a while, like this big pumpkin, uh, we do make them. And this one I've actually repairing. This is one that we delivered to Winchester last year. I think what happened is I hadn't cleaned the, um, the mold release out of the, the mold. And when I fiberglassed it, it just, it was like a weak, you know, joint. So it cracked and uh, now I just re-fiberglassed Bondo. I've still got to sand it and then sand this whole thing and we've got to repaint it. But this one's good to go, it's all fixed. And it's the only time we've ever had that happen. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, this pumpkin has been with us for, since the beginning. Yeah. This is one of the first pumpkins. Yeah. We've always held on to at least one of our original ones because yeah. we're doing a little experiment. How long does the paint last and all that stuff? Oh, you can't see because of my shadow. How long does the paint last? It's peeling a little bit right where the joint is. Yeah, but I would say after six years, that if that's the extent of it, yeah, that's pretty it. good. Yeah. Yep. I mean, most people would probably just stick that out. Yeah. You know, you could always put a little crow right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the dirt, the natural dirt stuff kind of 
Oh yeah, it makes it look way more realistic. Yeah. Someone's coming to get this guy here soon. Just sitting here waiting for him. <laughs> hey, a little sneak peek at some uh, other yep. styles and... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm standing on the platform. You're like, what are you <laughs> I'm doing? I'm all, hey! <laughs> hey, I don't know if any of you guys recognize this, but this is our breathing grave from way back in the day. We are going to use the, the foam parts for it. I'm going to probably just modify them and make them look more rickety. And then I'll build a new base plate that's wide enough to mount the metal uh, fencing to it. So this is in the works. You'll see a video of that soon. Hey, 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 before you go, speaking of which, I see kicking legs out. What's that doing oh, out? Oh, yeah. Harris, I was showing Harrison. Oh, yeah. He hadn't seen the inner workings, and he's like, plug it in. I go, oh, my well, man. it needs a little work. <laughs> <laughs> he's but, seen, hey, his butts. Yeah, we still, his have, butts. His, we still have his butt. <laughs> his butts. Yeah. He's got two butts. Look at how faded the pirate pants oh, are. Oh, man. Yeah, it's I was like going to say, apart. this is pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, we'll have to get it working for him just so he can see. Yeah, See that everybody, that's always everybody's favorite prop. Yeah. Where are the kicking legs? <laughs> They're still around. Such a weird thing to store. It you is. Always a... <laughs> see you get someone's legs poking up. <laughs> hey, speaking of storage. Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to reveal yeah. the scenic shot, our Hollywood Haunter scenic shot? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a little horde of projects going on. Oh here. my gosh. We're taking you behind the scenes scenes. And a lot of you guys have asked in the past, like, what see? happened to the witch cottage facade? What happened? Well, some of it's been reused and gone, but when you let things sit. Ta-da! Yes, the witch cottage facade has seen better days. But it's still there. Yeah, we had always planned on trying to fix like at least the front of it and reusing that. We made some gum drops and uh, some candies and stuff and we were gonna make it look like a little gingerbread house or something either for Christmas or Halloween or something so that's why we've hung on to this portion but yeah it's not looking too good yeah who would have thought having kids would make you so tired <laughs> <laughs> so we still have all the flower boxes we got the the windows the shutters yeah Everything's covered in cobwebs. And Just dismantled and de-skinned, right? Yeah. This is a piece of it. Yeah. Yeah, I tore the, you know, the Luon, you know, that, that thin plywood gets all nasty and falls apart, warps. Because we never finished this thing, we never painted the backside. And you'd get some damage anyway, but it really does uh, put kick it into high gear when you can, you can kind of see basically how that plywood just falls apart. So if we were in a rainier place, that would have trashed a lot sooner yeah but you know i i'm noticing the edges which makes sense but overall this is actually i mean Holding for up. just being mortar yeah on there yeah that's true. it's actually not that bad i know it's got some wind damage and stuff to it but you can tell where the wood is yeah stolen. i mean it really i'm looking at all of this stuff this is actually not too bad <laughs> it's foam everywhere <laughs> foam in the cobwebs <laughs> I use the cobwebs to catch the foam beam. There you go. Can... Then you come and clean them up. We have all of our fog hoses, <laughs> some old haunted pictures, anything you need for little projects. Yes. Hey, this is our sign. Lay your oh, cans yeah. to rest. It's still got the. This has got the. It. <laughs> yeah, it's still got the story in there. Hey, man. A night in the haunted house. Aww. Yeah. We got our western fence, parts of our western fence. Okay. It's our little H.H. Brander, remember? Does anybody remember the VT Ranch days? Those were our first. Yeah. And then these are the bricks from the Mission. Oh, from really? Our, yeah, these are the Mission bricks. These okay. are the ones that yeah. put inside. They're, they were leftover ones. I've been hanging on to everything, you guys. I don't ever get rid of nothing in case I need it. Unless it's... Yeah. Total garbage, but I I'd hate look. to see what happens when we move. You see that? That's her weather yes, vane. Yes, there's our weather vane. Yeah, and we so, should show Harrison that. It's all ready to be plugged in. Air tanks for some of our cannons. <laughs> Playground furniture yeah, for more gonna... epic 
I what, was gonna what make are some, the oh gosh i'm gonna die kidding. we hung on to a bunch of the playground equipment because we were going to make like an epic theme playground like swing set for harrison which we still might do we built a firehouse yeah we built a firehouse <laughs> but we just don't have a playground to go with it we need oh okay like, like a playing around playground got it playset. got it got it <laughs> i was thinking i thought we did build one we building another one honey we're running out of room no well we'll just build up these are all things that I had plans for. Yeah, we were going to build some candelabras or something. You know, we all have We lots, have so many props ideas and, and ideas we want to do. Yes. It's just trying to find the time. I try to kind of keep all my metal scraps right here. If you guys are making any cauldron creeps, uh, <laughs> you got plenty of PVC that we've saved. I'm hoping I can do some of those with Harrison, you know, here Yeah, soon. there's the old tombstone from our very first haunt. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yeah, there's some on this side too. Oh my gosh, you guys, some of our very first tombstones. Yeah. And then just and all kinds of lighting and, and chandeliers that we were going to work on. This is full of stuff. Yeah, gas fittings and all kinds of stuff. We got plexiglass scraps right here. Scenes for pipe, you know, we were going to do some pipe scenes and, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. So we'll have to, if you guys like this kind of stuff, we'll show you all our junk. No, <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> we got to get back to work. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but we thought we would put this up, give you guys a little bit of content. Yeah. If you guys like this kind of video, let yeah. us know. It kind of feels like the old days a little bit. It does. And it gives you an update on, on Where we're how at. everything's going and stuff. So yeah. it's going to kind of have to be like this for a little while. We'll still put out full videos of some of the new props that we have created. But as far as finishing them and stuff this works nice for you being able to uh, see the progress <laughs> a little bit and our horde all right you guys we've got to get back to work so we will see you guys next time see ya